What's up everybody, this is Dan Ram with Trash Ass Gamers bringing you another Elder Scrolls Online Achievement Guide. This is for Fun Guy Free. This is a pretty difficult achievement. Um, it's part of the Dragon Bones DLC and it involves uh, the Fanglayer Dungeon. It has to be on Veteran to get this achievement. And the achievement is for actually be beating the Cadaverous Menagerie on Veteran with no player in your group being hit by the spores that spawn in during the fight. So a few tidbits about this, the game will introduce you to these spores as you run up to the boss, and they're these little blue spores on the ground. And when you get close to them, they'll generate a small AoE around them, and once the AoE reaches its maximum capacity, it'll explode, and if you're in that AoE at the time of explosion, you'll take damage. So a few things, the spores that lead up to the boss fight do not count. And if you do get hit by a spore during the fight, you can wipe and just restart the boss and you'll still be able to get it. So you just need to not get hit by the spores during the fight. The spores themselves are spawned in by the gore. And you're gonna see four types of enemies here. You're gonna see a cadaverous gore, cadaverous cinch, a cadaverous bear, and then three cadaverous direwolves that spawn in during the fight. And the boss is considered the cadaverous bear. Once you kill the bear, the fight will end. What we like to do is stack all of the bosses, or try to stack all of the bosses on the Gwar because he's a ranged boss and he doesn't move. But you really, you want to take down the Cinch as fast as possible because the Cinch will do a fear attack that will lunge at a player and will basically kill them unless you interrupt him very, very rapidly. So we like to take him down before he can even get that attack off and then stack the bear on the Gwar. And you'll probably be able to take down the Gwar in the first portion of the fight before he spawns any of those spores in. So that's going to limit, you know, the number of spores that you need to avoid. And keep in mind they're not dead though. You'll see the cinch is there kind of in a stun mode. And the Gwar, when he goes down, he's going to be sort of in a stun mode as well for a short period of time. And then while they're down, you just really want to focus on doing as much damage to the bear as possible. And you see these dire wolves that spawn in. They will spawn in three at a time, and they will keep spawning in. And basically I'm showing you the kite method. If you just run around in a circle, and I'm not sprinting, I'm just running at a normal pace, they'll really never be able to catch you, and you can just kite them around the boss. And the reason you want to do that is if you get too close to them, they will actually explode and do quite a bit of damage. So now you're seeing the cinch, he's back up. So we're gonna try to take him down. Now with this method, you're gonna wanna take down the cinch ASAP when he gets back up. As soon as he gets back up, he will pounce a player, so you're gonna have to free them, and then you need to kill him as fast as possible. Try to get him down before he fears a second time. And then probably about the time that you kill him, the Gwar is going to get up. Now guaranteed, when the Gwar gets up, which he did here, he's immediately going to spawn three blue spores, which you just saw on the back end of my screen. So now we really need to pay attention to where those spores are and stay away from them. And if you do get close, which I do here, get out of that AoE. So you see I'm out of the AoE before it explodes. And if you turn your AoE indicators to a bright pink or something that's really easily recognizable, you're going to have an easier time avoiding those spores. And there's two things you can do here. You can try to take down the gore a second time, but if you have really good DPS, you can actually really just burn the cadaverous bear down and avoid the spores. As long as you do that and stay out of those spores, you will get this achievement. It is very difficult. I've also provided a tech solution that's a slightly different method, um, but that method is very intense for the tank as he has to talon the dire wolves as they come in. Um, but that's a very intense method. Um, you're really going to have to have a good group to do that. So we really, you know, most players are going to be doing the kiting method, take down the cinch, then take down the bear. So I hope this helped you guys. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.